Hey guys, I am responding to the Campbell Thompson and Barrett article and Abby's question was which curriculum do we think is like used the most in the classroom and why? And after reading the article and I thought about it, I think that most elementary school teachers incorporate all of these different types of curriculum into their lessons and I'll tell you why. Um, first off, like the documents, like anything a teacher does, we need a standard for. So we always are going to rely on the goals and standards within our lesson. And then the overall plan is like the plan of studies and stuff and the mark progression. So throughout every, the whole year, we're constantly like we constantly have our overall lessons for that, that year that we have to do, and we also have to keep progress reports of our students, so I think that's an important aspect of the curriculum as well. And then, obviously, planned activities. Majority of the stuff we do within the classroom is planned, so that's a very important part of the curriculum. And then the subject matter acquisition is our big ideas and concepts and rules, and if you talk to any elementary school teacher, we always need to have big ideas over different subjects, like the different lessons we're learning. Overall, there's a big topic or unit with that. And then obviously outcomes. Um, teachers always are gonna need to measure their student outcomes based upon our lessons and our goals and our objectives. And then the experiences is obviously a very important part of all of that because we need to make sure our students are having a positive experience and they're learning through those experiences. And then the task and concepts. So of course every lesson has skills you're going to need to be mastered. So I think that's a very important aspect as well and it goes with it. And then cultural reproduction. <laughs> reproduction. Um, Direct infiltration of specific cultural values. This one is not used as much, maybe not as like, yeah, but the ways of thinking and working. So I think that's incorporated, but not as much as the others. And same with the cultural reconstructions and where they like help with values, but maybe it's not a huge part, but I still believe they're incorporated. And then finally, expectations. Every teacher has expectations and goals and desires for their lesson. Like, it's not going to be one thing or another. So, that's my response is I can't pick a single curriculum that I think I see more of because I think those curriculums all come together to create, like, a successful teacher. So, thank you, and I hope you guys have a great week.